Let's get digital modes up and running with the Yezu FTX. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK. One of the things that I've been trying to get done is get the FTX configured and working with digital modes. However, as of the time of this recording, which is July 2025, to the best of my knowledge, Yezu has not released the cat control commands for this radio. At least I haven't seen them if they have. Now, if you're watching this somewhere in the uh, future, then all of this may have changed. But as of right now, I have figured out a workaround to get this well, at least mostly working. There are some quirks you're going to find uh, when we do it this way, but it will at least get the basics working for the time being. So let's go ahead and jump over to the laptop and let me show you what workaround I'm using. Oh, but first, this should work on Windows or Linux. We'll be doing it, of course, on Linux today, but the vast majority of this should apply for Windows users. All right, so for Linux, we're going to start in the terminal. Uh, what we're doing here, though, is we're going to run ls space hyphen l, and then we're going to give it another space, forward slash dev, forward slash serial, forward slash by hyphen id. Go ahead and press return, and that's going to give you a couple of different options here. Now, let me see if I can make this, uh, stretch this out far enough that we can see everything. All right. You can see that I have three different listings here. The one we are looking for is this first one right here, USB Silicon Labs, and you'll see that it points to USB Zero. That's the one we're going to need when we get over into FL Rig. Now, inside of FL Rig, for the rig, you're going to choose 891. Like I said, guys, this is not going to be perfect, but it's going to get us close. You'll notice right here in this next line is where I've got that IF00 port 0. If you drop down, you can see all three of those listings that we just had there a second ago. Scroll out to the side, you'll see that port 0. That's the one linked to USB 0, and that's the one that we want to choose. Once you've got that, you're just going to click on Initialize. Oh, just uh, for reference, I'm using one stop bit right there, RTS, CTS and the pole interval is set to 500. Everything else over on this side is left blank. And you'd go ahead and click initialized. And that will get your radio connected to FL Rig. Now, here's where things are not exactly right. If you notice on the radio right now, we are seeing that the radio is in data U mode, but FL Rig is reporting that it's in data L. So it will change if we change anything right here. Let's say we go, uh, we'll change the frequency and you'll see that the frequency is changing. If I change this over to say be lower sideband, it will move on the radio, but it may not report correctly in FL rig. LSB in this case did report correctly, but let's go back to that data U mode and you'll see that uh, it changes back to data L in FL rig, but the radio is set correctly to data U. So that will get FL rig configured correctly for your setup. Now, inside of an application like JSA Call or WSJTX, which is going to be very similar, I'm actually in JSA Call this morning. Under the radio, I'm going to set the rig to FL rig, FL rig. So we're not going to choose a specific radio right here. Set it to that, then we'll set our PTT to cat. Our mode right here, we would set to none and our split operation to fake it. Now, if we come down here, we can click the test cat button and that should return green. We can also click the test PTT button and you'll see that we are definitely getting PTT on the radio. So that is the way we set up cat control with JSA call and FL rig with the FTX. On the audio card on Linux, you're going to see this input USB-C media, and for the output, it will be output USB-C media. 
and I left both of these over here set to mono. Now, if you're running Pat Menu and Pat Winlink, these are the settings that I used over here. I just left primarily this one set to user bin rig control hyphen M4. This is a typical setup that we run right here. Now, don't be alarmed that my settings are going to look or my screen is going to look a little bit different. This is a new version of Pat Menu that I am working on. I have not found a good thing to plug in right here to change the HF mode on the radio or the 2 meter mode on the radio. So you may have to set your mode manually when you're using Pat Winlink. So now you know how I'm using FL Rig to get the FTX up and running. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.